My name is Alistair Lee, and in this video, I'm going to look at the recording transcript feature in Adobe Connect. I'm here looking at a recording. I've got a few different actions I can do, including editing the recording or downloading the file. For now, though, I'm just going to click on the URL for viewing. This is the same URL that I would distribute for my recording, and I'll hit play recording. Let me pause it here and turn down the volume so that that's not distracting. And one of the things that you'll notice is that in addition to the closed captions, which are available, and I'll start those closed captions now, those captions, by the way, work during a recording. Let me jump ahead a little bit where we've got some captions. You can see them showing up here. I've got the ability to edit the text size as well as the color of those captions. But I've also got the ability now to open a transcript. So let me close the captions and open up this new recording transcript and you'll see a complete transcript that's diarized, unlike captions. We've got names and timestamps. Now, because this recording was anonymized, the names in the transcript are also anonymized, which is a nice touch. And the transcript is showing me which section of the recording we're looking at. You'll notice a little highlight over the active session. If I want, I can search through the transcript. Let me just search for the word engaging. You can see there's 12 instances of that, but I can jump directly to the part of the recording that matches my search simply by clicking on the transcript. So it not only shows me what's being said, but it's interactive. I can search and I can click on the transcript to jump to specific sections. I've also got some options here to change the font size of the transcript to make it easier to read. And as a host, instead of viewing the recording, I may want to edit the recording. So I'm gonna choose the option to edit the recording. And once again, I'll hit the play bar. And I have access to the transcript during the editing process as well. And I can actually edit the transcript. So I can simply double click on any paragraph in the recording here. Not only will it jump to that section, but it will give me the ability to edit the text in the transcript. Now, because this transcript is created immediately after the session when the recording is completed, the accuracy rate of these transcripts is excellent. So I'm not actually seeing any typos here for me to correct, but it would be very easy to do so. I could simply highlight a word here and type in a correction and hit the check mark. I'm going to hit cancel because I'm done with this. But let's say that we are cutting out a section of our recording. I'm going to move these little recording editing triangles here. I'm going to use my mouse, although I can also use my arrow keys for more precise movement. And you'll notice once I start cutting out sections of the recording, which I can do simply by clicking on the scissors icon, it will show me what part of the transcript will also be cut out. And when I click on save edits here, the entire window will refresh with my new version of the recording and the new version of the transcript, not with the crossed out characters, but with that text removed from the transcript. Of course, this is Adobe Connect, so we can always revert back to the original if we need to. That is always an option. That's a quick look at the new recording transcript feature in Adobe Connect. Thanks for your time.